Evangel basketball back at home Thursday to take on Central Methodist. Team coming off of a week where you played Mid-American Nazarene, one of the top-ranked teams in the country. Well, a tough day at Graceland, though, on Saturday. First of all, coming off of Saturday, Coach, how do you get the team refocused and re-energized to approach the week? Well, I mean, you know, just like anything else, you hear some coaches say when you run, you run into a little buzzsaw and everything's going their way, you, you got to just strike this out, take it out, you know, throw it out the door, and then, uh, you know, start over and start preparing for your next opponent. Okay, it's, you're going to have those days. And, I mean, you're going to run into days like that. Somebody's going to shoot a lot better and, and shots are going to fall. And uh, no matter what you do, um, they go, you know, things are going to go their way. And, th and that's actually what happened. I mean, they hadn't shot that well all year. And it just happened to be us that it happened against. But I thought our kids, you know, came back out the second half and gave, you know, great effort. And uh, was able to, you know, uh, make it a little bit more competitive. You've played the Central Methodist team earlier this year where they shot lights out. How, the difference about that is they're a very good perimeter shooting team. Uh, I know you're looking for a much different night than what you had in Fayette. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to take some pride in it. I know the kids are wanting to get back and, and, and you know, just show that they are better defenders. Um, they shot the ball extremely well that night, and they have great shooters. I mean, they, they average nine. They lead the conference um, with nine made threes, and they average 25.6 attempts. So, uh, you know, they got three people that, sh you know, probably shot as many threes as some of us shooting twos. And so they, they are very three conscious, uh, whether they're in transition or half court they're gonna make sure the threes get up. And the one thing we have to do a better job of is when the shot is missed, we gotta get the rebound because they're very good at uh, not so much putting it back as much as kicking it back out to the three-point line and shooting. When you're guarding against a three in transition, it seems like it's a very difficult thing to defend because it seems like your first priority is to stop the ball or to stop the ball from getting inside or to the basket and preventing a layup. Sometimes you almost concede a three-point shot in transition because sometimes that doesn't look like it's the best shot to take in a fast break. But for them, it is as well as they shoot it. What, what rules change to try to prevent transition threes as you teach it? I think the first thing is, you know, you, we got to get back. First of all, you got to get the balls picked up quickly so the, uh, you, you take away her court vision. And then after that, you got to cover the three-point line and just uh, – Hope that your you know your post players are going to run run the floor and put it all on the post to force them to kick it inside, uh, where I think we're stronger in that point. Uh, so we have to make them play with their inside people, and we can't let them uh, beat us with uh, their outside perimeter game because last time you know they scored 55 points just on the perimeter, you know out of those you know 80 points. So if you look at that, you take those points away, uh, you know, we pretty much could have been in the game. Angel back at home on Thursday night. Again, the stretch run is underway. Two weeks to go in the regular season. Crusaders at home Thursday, 530 against Central Methodist. For EvangelAthletics.com, I'm Ed Beach.